I'm gonna keep it all the way real with y'all. Last week was super rough for me. I'm not gonna lie. I've been depressed. I've been watching Martin reruns. I've watched all the other shows. I don't know what else to watch. Give me suggestions. But today I'm gonna do something that always makes me feel a little bit better. I'm gonna do a drag transformation for the girls. <laughs> I am going to go from looking like the fresh trade who will probably never text your ass back to this. The girl that's here to remind you that these niggas ain't shit. Don't worry about it. So let's get ready with me. Cue my theme music. <laughs> so step one for me today is to shave. I'm tired of looking like I just eat pancakes all day. I wanna give a fresh face for this look. Sometimes I don't wanna shave. Sometimes I'll put glitter on my beard and do like a little gender fuck. But yeah, so step one is to shave. <laughs> and just like that, I just went from looking like somebody who broke your heart to someone who's applying to be a young pilot. My homegirl said that to me when I was clean shaving one day and I was like, um, fuck you. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera. I basically use a glossier boy brow and a pencil and I use some concealer to carve out the shape. I like to do my eyebrows first because I suck at doing it. So me doing my eyebrows with a bunch of other shit on my face is just gonna give me anxiety and like the gig is an hour i'm in a rush like <laughs> so i try to just be time conscious whenever i do my makeup the next thing i use is elf poreless face primer i got this from cvs these girls are out here spending all of their life savings at sephora and sometimes you don't need to do that like for certain products like fenty i'll do that but for uh, motherfucking primer I'm just gonna get the basic one I like this primer because it is mattifying I tend to get oily especially when I'm on stage I'm just gonna take two pumps I got into doing drag because I was always bullied when I was younger for being too film I would skip out on watching the football game with the fam so I could go watch America's Next Top Model First of all, that show was actually really problematic when you think about it. Like they put those girls through a fucking lot. <laughs> but I love Tyra to death. But anyway, I would go on auditions and in my headshot, I look like a fucking bro, but that's not who I am at all. So at the audition, they would be like, um, could you make your voice deeper? Could you, uh, uh, kiss that girl and like really act like you like it like really get into it That's a beautiful woman right there kiss her and I would just be like get me the fuck get the fuck ASAP so Drag was a way for me to really transform myself and be proud of who I am I did it with comedy because with comedy you can do whatever the fuck you want to do And yes, I am a real comedian drag queens are real comedians um it kills me when comedians are like oh we can't give you this slot because you do too much with your act it's like first of all i look fucking gorgeous second of all it's your choice to wear your dad's old blue jeans that you haven't washed in two weeks. If I want to go on stage and look absolutely fucking stunning, you know how much value I'm bringing to your stage right now? So let, let's not do it. Let's not do it. Because if we really want to get into it, we would not have any of this LGBTQ pride without a black trans woman by the name of Marsha P. Johnson. So don't get me started. The first step is the primer. And then I take Miss Fenty. She always comes through. This is Pro Filter in the shade 420. The shade is probably, I need another shade, but with what money? So I take Miss Fenty. Usually do about two pumps, but I usually end up applying more. Blend this in there, girl. Me doing drag has been very liberating because 
Rona, is that you? I should not joke about that at all because people are really out here dying and they fucking opened up Georgia. Who the fuck told Georgia to open? Like, y'all's governor? We need to get her together. So anyway, I take this Fenty. Doing my makeup is really therapeutic for me, so these are the things I usually just think about when I'm doing it. I'm gonna do a little more because we want to give a little bit of glam today. So yeah, and I'm, I'm using my hands. I know I should. I should use the beauty blender. <laughs> this is not going to be a perfect tutorial, y'all. And you make sure you put this shit on your neck, girl. My hair is very coarse, and sometimes I do have breakouts because I'm black. And then I take my little cheap dollar store concealer. It was very cheap. I'm not even going front. I don't want to spend all this money on makeup. Like, I really don't. Like, I don't have the budget. I don't have the coin for it. Sally Mae is like, oh, bitch, we saw you was at Sephora. So you can't pay your motherfucking student loan off? So yeah, I like to just save money wherever I can. This is a dollar store concealer um, and it does a trick. And it's very light because I like to highlight under my eyes and I like to highlight on the bridge of my nose and right here. So a lighter concealer really works, especially when you're on stage. It gives you a nice little definition to your face. Scroll. So yeah, we're gonna do that. Oh. It's cheap. If anybody can sponsor me so I can get some um, more expensive concealer, that would be very helpful for a bitch. <laughs> yes, but whenever I do my little glam looks, I always feel like I'm just so powerful. And it's such a contrast to me on the everyday because I'm actually very fucking shy. Like, I just like to mind my business usually, you know? And <laughs> it takes a lot for me to open up to people. Me doing comedy, I wanted to do something that amplifies the parts of myself that I'm forced to hide to fit in with society and all these fucking gender binaries, which y'all already know, I don't fuck with gender binaries at all. Like, I think that shit is bullshit because it's like people are nuanced people are multifaceted and we should allow people to be whoever they want to be so anyway let me stop talking let me blend out this concealer bitch <laughs> yeah and i try to do the best i can with this but sometimes i fuck up but it's okay i am not fucking perfect i think what y'all will learn from this channel is i am a flawed ass bitch just like everyone else and i cuss a lot i have a potty mouth i get that from my parents they're from detroit and it's actually healed me in a lot of ways it helped me to learn who i am it's helped me to define what i want in my life it's helped me to say what the fuck i feel on stage and not have to censor myself because at my shows if you see Kyle Atwater perform, you are not seeing no fake shit. And we gonna have a good time. We might lip sync to Trina. We might, <laughs> we might make fun of the patriarchy because that shit is overrated. Okay, so concealer is done. Is it? <laughs> Don't worry, if I look crazy, it's all gonna come together when this is over. Just trust me. The bitch, oh shit, oh. I need to stop cussing, I'm sorry. Pray for me, y'all. So I am gonna take a little bit of orange color correct concealer and just do above my lips. And I find that when I do my foundation and then I add the color correct later, it just makes it easier for me. It might not work for everybody, but it just works for me. Because sometimes I'll like fucking do the color correct and then I'll do the foundation. But then the color correct will like get all over my face and I look like a motherfucking cheesy ass Dorito. And I don't want to give that on stage. <laughs> and makeup is trial and error, okay? You are gonna fuck up. I looked at a billion makeup tutorials to just be able to pull off a little basic look. Um, and also, the first person to ever do my makeup was my homegirl. I love her to death. She sh kind of showed me how to do everything. And also, um, I observed my mom doing makeup. My mom actually helped me <laughs> a couple of times, which was really cute. She'll probably be on the comments of this video like, I didn't like the way you did your fucking, why you do your eyebrows like that? I could tell, I already know, <laughs> but whatever. Yeah, so let me make sure I blend this shit in. I think we're good on that. Next thing I do is I take 
this cute little matchstick Fenty and espresso. You can do a lot of witchcraft and wizardry with these matchsticks. Um, for the sides of my face, I'm just gonna apply it directly on. And I like to follow the natural shape of my cheek. Did I fuck up? No, I think I got it okay. <laughs> and then I like to do my chin. I like to highlight my booty chin. We love a queen with a defined jawline. Don't be jealous. <laughs> Witchcraft. I like to carve out my nose. And I do it right to the eyebrow, where the eyebrow is. I make a harsh line at the start so I can like really define this nose shape. Of course we gotta do the shadow. This is the look I would give if I just got booked on a show last minute and I only had about 30 minutes to prepare. All these little comedy shows I'm doing for free, you gonna get whatever I give you. I like to blend it out before I do anything else, just so I can know Okay, maybe I need to add some foundation to cover a spot where I fucked up. And that's the trick, bitch. You gotta to the lips almost, honey. I wanna be really snatched in these streets. And makeup is really witchcraft. You can really do some crazy shit with makeup. I'll keep doing makeup tutorials and I'll, I'll show y'all, watch. I'm gonna show y'all. <laughs> the drag queens I'm inspired by um, besides RuPaul, which is obvious, I'm inspired by this Brazilian pop star named Pablo Vittar. I don't know if I'm saying their name right. They are a genderqueer pop star and they are fucking phenomenal. They are fabulous. I saw them at Pride. Oh, they canceled Pride. <laughs> my homosexual heart <laughs> anyway i saw them at pride and they gave me my entire fucking life and they made me feel like i can do anything it was really inspiring to see them i like their looks because they're more like you can see them wearing that look and also bella hadid wearing it you know <laughs> and i kind of like that when i do drag i want to look like the girl next door <laughs> i want to look like the girl from Brooklyn who likes shops at Glossier, uh, maybe works three days a week at a famous magazine company that you'll never get hired at. Oh, and I almost forgot. The wig I'm gonna wear has bangs, but I like to just do this anyway. Do a little contour. This big ass forehead I got. I love my forehead. I'm the only one that can say that. Don't be coming up to me like, ah, you said you got a big forehead. Don't do it, don't do it. Drag is really about accepting yourself, accepting all the facets of yourself, and finding what makes you you. Drag is an art form, just like anything else. Sometimes I go out in full glam, and that's just who I am. And if you don't like it, how do I say this politely? Fuck you very much, but I'm just gonna keep being who I am. Okay, she's starting to come along a little bit. I like to use this cheap little HD setting powder. It's really cheap. I'm gonna be honest. She gives me flashback in these photos. I do not like that. It looks really good on camera. I look sickening on camera. Oh, and on stage, oh, but if you take a picture with me with some flash on, I do look like Casper the Friendly Ghost. So I like to use this very conservatively, but it helps to give a little snatchation of the situation. And this really helps to chisel out your contour too. So I like to do it right below the contour line. Wax on, wax off, motherfucker. <laughs> this video is just me telling jokes to myself. If I was just going to a, a circuit party, I would not put this powder on, but this is for the stage. These are for the lights and the cameras that will come back when this quarantine is over. Okay, and I do some on the bridge of my nose too. Okay, she's coming along. I like her so far. So this is pretty much the face. We also need to add a little bit of blush. I'm gonna use trusty dusty Glossier. Glossier begin me together, bitch. I'm gonna take Glossier Cloud Paint in the color Haze. And the trick to this is you gotta laugh. You gotta see what it look like when you're smiling. <laughs> and when I'm doing looks on stage, I like to apply a lot of blush. And I love this color because it makes me look grown and sexy. And yeah, I like to just you do it on the apples of my cheeks. It gives my cheeks, I naturally have really big cheeks, so. 
Makeup always gives me the illusion that I got paid to do the gig when I probably didn't. I'm gonna do a lip. I love Flu Eyed Beauty. It's a beauty brand for all. And I'm gonna use, Ginger's is my favorite color from them. I like to use this on my eyes as well. But I'm gonna do two on my lips. I'm gonna use this lighter one as a lip liner. I have a lip liner pencil, but like, ugh, you can oh, you can just do this. It's nothing wrong with doing this. <laughs> it really isn't. And I find that when you line your lips, it really makes your lips look snatched for the gods. So I line the lips and then I am going to use Rosemont as the main color. And y'all don't know, I've done my makeup in every type of setting. Like I've done it in the back of somebody's closet. I've done it in the downstairs basement of a bar. <laughs> so I pretty much feel comfortable with my makeup now. I know it could definitely improve and we're all improving at the end of the day. There's no reason why you have to be perfect. For what? For who? It's lip, honey. Okay, so we good on complexion, so let's do the eyes. I'm an art school nerd, I love to draw my looks first. So the first step, I'm gonna use Milk Makeup Eye Pigment in the shade Hush. Get into Milk Makeup, if you want a look that is dramatic and has a great color payoff this pigment is for you so I am going to put it more into my nose I'm going to make a really dramatic line and I fucked up so I'm going to use Glossier stretch concealer in G4 to fix my mistakes sharpen those lines honey yes yeah, so if you fuck up you can just use some concealer to define the shape and yeah this is a dramatic look i'm going to the stage well the imaginary stage once we get out of this hopefully <sighs> anyway so i'm using a cheap amazon palette and i'm just gonna put some purple on it to create a nice hue effect um it makes it look a little gradient and uh this fenty beauty highlighter palette girl get into it it is stunning so this is the shade cop and ice for the kilowatt foil palette and i'm just going to add that to my inner corner and i'm going to use this highlight on the rest of my face but i'm going to do that off camera just to save some time girl i mean since i've been in quarantine i've had no sense of time but when i'm doing shows time is important so now I'm going to add Urban Decay Heavy Metal in the shade Stage Dive. And I love this shade. I always add it in some way to my drag looks. But today I'm adding it to the inner corners. And I love how all of these colors look together. Um, and I love that it adds the sparkle that I need. We all need a little bit of sparkle sometimes. And this is a cheap eyeshadow palette from Amazon. Um, Amazon is that girl sometimes. And so I fucking lost my eyeliner. So I'm using this to create a uh, dark dramatic line. Um, it's a defining line. I want to look like an anime character, so it kind of just reminds me of that. Like I said, I am an art school nerd, and I fucked up. The line was a little too chunky, so I'm going to go back into my stretch concealer, and I'm going to fix my mistakes. It's like life. When you make a mistake, you can fix it later if you try. <laughs> So yeah, any mistakes you make with your eye looks, you can just shape them and define the lines. Curling lashes is important, it keeps the haters away. And I'm gonna add some mascara. Um, I don't like to do false lashes at the moment because I tried it and a lash fell off when I was in the middle of a joke and 
I felt crazy. <laughs> so I just like to use my natural lashes and just add some mascara. It's just my choice. But maybe I'll get over my phobia of false lashes one day. And but who cares? Um, and then I'm gonna add some mascara to the bottom. Yes. I try to be super careful with this because yeah, if you fuck up right here, this could fuck up your whole look. Um, <laughs> and so I'm gonna define the brow again with Glossier Boy Brow, just to be sure it's cute. And okay, I think I'm about to I'm about to give y'all my final look. Y'all ready? watching this video make sure you subscribe leave some comments and until next time see you later